All right, hello everybody. My name is Troy Harrison Christ, and on today's 4K 60 FPS Kingdom Come Deliverance video, I'm going to be giving you guys a quick little guide on how to make a lot of money early on in the city of Ratai. I will also be pointing out different quests and different locations. You can get some nice armor. So let's get right into this. Leave a like, subscribe, let's have some fun. Okay, this first tip is about how to get some good armor early on in the game. While I was live streaming Kingdom Come Deliverance, I was seeing uh, the same comment repeating all the time. Where did you get that chainmail? How did you find that? Did you loot that off of somebody? Yes, yes I did. So early on in the game, Henry will want to go back to Scalitz to take care of some unfinished business. So he's kind of locked in the Tamburg Castle and will have to find a way to sneak out of the castle. There's a couple different ways to do this. You can either um, lockpick a certain chest and find some armor, um, but I failed to do this because lockpicking was so hard on PC at the beginning before I got the lockpicking mod. Um, so I didn't have any lockpicks to get that Tamburg armor. So what I did is I kind of snuck around the side of the castle and there was just this guard sitting all alone. Um, so yeah, I just, I beat him up. I took his armor and uh, yeah, I ran out of the castle. So literally there's a couple of guards that are stationed basically all by themselves. You can kind of get advantage of them if you sneak up behind them punch them in the back of the head or something, you should be able to take out one of these guards, get their armor, jump off the bridge, and get out of there. A few people might chase you, but it's not really going to be a problem. If you get away from them, um, there's really no consequences for doing this later, and you'll also get all of that guard armor. You'll get all of his weapons. Um, the guard I looted had a bunch of chain mail on him. Uh, he had a chain uh, coif. He had a chain uh, gambeson, I think. I don't know. He had a bunch of chain stuff. And so that's how you get that. Take out one of the guards sitting on the wall. Take their armor and run away instead of looting the armor in the box. The armor in the box is not as good. You'll thank me later if you do this. All right, let's uh, move on to the next one. All right, these next few tips will focus on getting money early. And honestly, you're going to have to be sneaking around, doing a little thieving, doing a little pickpocketing. If you're going to be that knight in shiny armor who does everything right, this might not be the tip for you. But if you want to make a lot of money early on, this will work very well. So after Henry wakes up to that Teresa girl healing his wounds, he learns he has a really big medical bill to the Miller, Teresa's father, uh, Miller Pacheck. When I first heard this, I kind of thought to avoid him. I don't want to pay this big medical bill. I just, I just woke up. I just started the game. I, I don't have anything. I don't have any money. It's like, why would I want to just jump out of here and pay a medical bill? But that's the, that's the exact wrong thought. If you actually go talk to him and talk about your debt, how you can repay it, he will tell you he needs a man to do an interesting job. This will start a quest line that is perfect for stealth players who want to make some money. Miller Peshek will give you the task of going to a graveyard and looting a ring. Um, go ahead and skip the part where you try and find the ring in the grave. Uh, it's not in the grave. Uh, the executioner who hangs out around the graveyard, he totally has it. So there are a couple ways to do this quest, but I would recommend you find a weapon just in case before you attempt this. If you get caught, this guy will kill you. If you do this quest during the daytime, you can kill the executioner, but he will be in full gear and be very hard to fight. But if you beat him, you can loot his sword and the ring. Or you can go in at nighttime while he's sleeping. You will have to lockpick the front door, but once you're in, try and knock him out. He might wake up and try and fight you, but he won't be wearing his armor and his sword is nowhere to be found. Going in at nighttime is going to be a lot easier to take out the executioner, you will be able to find his gear, but for the life of me, I could not find the sword. After you get the ring, you bring it back to Miller Peshek, and he will tell you where another Miller is, who also works as a fence, who buys and sells stolen goods. Are we seeing where this is going, people? Everybody, remember where this guy is, because he is just a short ride from Rete, which is filled with stuff to steal. When in Rete, start the Aquarius quest, where the bailiff will make you find people to give out jobs to. At a certain point in the day, you may find the bailiff sitting at his desk with nobody around. Yes, you can either talk to him and he'll look at the wall and talk to you, or you can crouch, knock him out, and take all of his gear. If you did this right, you can walk outside, close all the doors behind you, and make an escape. Once you rob the bailiff, though, do not dilly-dally in the street with stolen goods because random guards will walk up to you and search you. They'll find the goods regardless of if they saw you doing the crime. Get on your horse immediately and get straight to the north gate and get out, go back to that fence, sell all your stolen goods immediately. The bailiff has a lot of really good gear. All of it is pretty expensive and you'll make a lot of money. 
especially his chess piece, which is worth $1.6,000. This is a really quick way to make money. Rob the bailiff, and he literally will not even remember that you did it. Next time I went back to the bailiff, he was wearing just his underwear, and he had no idea that I was wearing his coat. This totally works. Steal his expensive stuff and go sell it. So yeah, seriously guys, do not keep stolen goods equipped. It's not worth the hassle from the guards. Go sell them to a fence. If that fence is out of money, try waiting a few days or see if you can haggle for a couple of his goods and do a little exchange. If you really like that item that you just sold to a fence, buy it back. It will be very expensive, but it'll no longer show up as stolen. You just washed it basically. Another place where you can make really good money and also get pretty decent gear is the activity rob the rich and give to the poor in this quest a man named vagabond wants you to steal money from a guard and bring him back half of it if you bring him back half the money he will then become a trainer and you can learn a few skills from him the best way to do this quest is to wait until the guard goes to bed knock him out take his gear and the money then drag him to a nearby bush i found if you leave him where he's lying you will just wake up with guards saying that you knocked a guy out and you need to pay $200. This took me a while, but I eventually got away with the money and the gear, and no guards chasing me. Either sell the guards gear, it is pretty nice and worth a lot, or attempt to wear stolen gear. But if you're going to wear stolen gear, make sure you have enough money to pay off every single guard you run into. But that gets very expensive and gets very old. And simple, sell your stolen goods and buy gear with the profits. It's as simple as that. Another good way to earn money and quick skills is doing Milan's fighter quest. You have to fight a couple of people before you fight Milan. Each enemy drops money after you beat him up, and you will gain lots of points in unarmed, strength, defense, and agility early on. This is a great quest to do. Everybody make sure you do this. This will also unlock another fighting quest later on to gain more money and more skills. Besides those quests, if you're feeling really good at combat, try and take on the cumins hiding nearby in the woods. There is a really large bounty on them because they are very tough to fight. I would recommend going in at night and try and do a couple of stealthy takedowns. I tried this during the morning and there was about four or five of them and they beat me up very quickly. Also, keep in mind that if you kill any cumins, make sure you take their ears. They're worth a lot of money as proof that you killed some cumins. Okay everybody, this next really easy way to earn money in Kingdom Come Deliverance is by hunting. Kingdom Come Deliverance is full of forests. They're literally everywhere and those forests are completely filled with animals. There are hares which catch a very good price if you catch a lot of them. But guys, head out into that forest. Feel free to spend some time early on in the game while the quests kind of wait for you. Level up your archery perk, level up your stealth perk, and level up your hunting perk. There is a lot of money to be made by hunting. Almost every vendor in the game will completely buy your food. Almost every vendor in the game will buy your food. It is hard to find a vendor that will not buy your food. So after a certain amount of time, you will get a quest to go hunting with Sir Hans Capon. And a lot of this mission is about an hour long stretch of time where all you have to do is shoot more hares than him. When you're out here, hunt as many rabbits as you can, you will beat Sir Hans Capon in this competition. He will give you some respect if you actually beat him in the competition. Your hunting perk will go up. Once your hunting perk kind of levels up, you can um, you can kind of level it to get different animal parts from the different things that you hunt. So the first thing I got was antlers because antlers sell a very good price if you take down a deer. But then you look down that list and there's a lot of different kind of hunting perks that you can get after that. And really guys, spend some time hunting and leveling up this perk because you can get a lot, a lot of money from hunting. Everybody needs food. This is medieval bohemia. Everybody needs to eat and you can make a lot of cash shooting rabbits. So guys, go ahead, spend some time early on in the game when you are questing around Rate. The quests really don't advance without you at that point in the game. They kind of wait for you. So take some time, go out in the forest and really do some hunting. You can make a lot of cash and sell it to a lot of different people. Food is the number one resource in this game. Everybody needs to eat and you can make a lot of money off those people who need to eat. All right, let's move on to the next one. 
The next tip that is going to be super helpful if you are kind of following on with the stealth playthrough that I've kind of been describing. Um, this thing you really will need. It, it helps so much in this game. If you've played Kingdom Come Deliverance for more than an hour, you know that you cannot just save the game. You have to use save your snops. If you are playing uh, a stealth playthrough where you're trying to pickpocket people, you're trying to loot people and not get caught, this is absolutely the worst decision of all time in video game history. Making the game save with a rare expensive beverage. People, if you're playing a stealth playthrough, don't even mess around with this. If you're on PC, go to Nexus Mods and download Unlimited Saving. It's not completely unlimited saving. There's an option where uh, you can save whenever you want with no schnapps, and then there's another version of the mod where you need at least one schnapps to save endlessly. But then again, it's not really endlessly. There's only about 50 saves that you can do before the game fills up. You can only have 50 saves, so keep in mind you have to delete older saves if you're doing this. If you're playing a stealth playthrough, you do not want to be using this save your schnapps save style. I mean, in most RPGs, you can quick save whenever you want. If you're playing a stealth playthrough where you're robbing people, selling their goods, and trying to make money off of it, you definitely want to be able to save right before you're about to attempt that pickpocket. You know what I'm saying? Guys, please go download the quick save mod, and this game will be a lot less frustrating. All right, everybody, those were my quick tips to make some quick money around the city of Rattai. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully you learned something. Please leave a like and feel free to subscribe. Let's try and hit 2,000 and then let's get to 3,000 subscribers. It's been so cool to see all the new subs lately. Thank you all so much. My name is Troy Harrison Christ, and I'm out of here.